But first, is Florida ready to set sail? Tonight, the CDC giving the green light for cruise lines to operate once again, requiring new strict pandemic procedures. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Lauren St. Germain. And for Wendy, tonight, a Bay Area couple forced to quarantine on a cruise ship is warning that the risk of cruising right now is just too great. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith is in Channel Side as the cruise industry tries to bounce back. I mean, we love to cruise but we're not going to volunteer for a suicide mission. Before COVID-19 hit the U.S., Gay and Phil Quarter were forced to quarantine aboard the Diamond Princess cruise ship in Japan. The Crystal River couple spent nearly one month trying to get back home. Folks our age, this is a very scary disease. Now they're warning others about the risks passengers could face on board during a pandemic. And they're going to do very, very, they're talking about very short cruises, so that if you do get sick, you'll be off the boat by the time you're sick. I mean... It, it sounds crazy. Despite lifting a ban on cruises, the CDC still urges travelers to defer all cruise travel worldwide. New requirements include mock voyages with volunteers playing the role of passengers and regular testing for crew members and passengers. It's a promising sign of recovery for businesses in Tampa's Channelside District. The owner of this new dessert and coffee shop predicts more foot traffic Thanks to travelers docking at Port Tampa Bay. It's definitely exciting, definitely great with my son and my wife and everything that we kind of just try and get the best we can do, try and work this business to the best advantage that we can. Now, this does not mean we will see cruises here anytime soon. The CDC describes this all as a phased in approach. In fact, multiple cruise lines that operate right here at Port Tampa Bay, well, they have already canceled trips until at least 2021. In Channel Side, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.